We swear our allegiance, as you know, to the Constitution, not to a party or not to a place or not to a, an individual. And I think that we not only make ourselves better and more dedicated, more committed, but we also make America better. When someone agrees to join the United States military, they join not just, you know, you know the commercial, right? It's not just a job or an adventure, but it's a profession, and that's, that's true. It's who we have to be. Folks often ask me, why is it so important that, why do you believe so strongly that, that what we do needs to be a profession? A professional force will live up to the responsibility to allow civilian control of the military. Our, our elected leaders don't wake up in the morning worried about whether their military will, will remain subordinate to them. It's who we are. Right. It's part of our profession. It's part of our professional ethos. And when you think about what we do for the nation w with the capabilities they give us, we, to use Samuel Huntington's phrase, we manage violence on behalf of the nation. When you realize that, that military personnel at all ranks that have that kind of responsibility for the nation, that is to manage violence, to, to harm others on behalf of our national interest, it argues strongly for a professional force of men and women who have a different, who, who agree to live an uncommon life, not only simply by putting themselves in harm's way, but by putting others in harm's way. That's an enormous responsibility. And who have other values such as humility, honor, duty, courage, all of the, the values that we espouse. You're not a profession just because you say you are. You have to work at it. And, you know, we had some, over the course of my 41 years, there have been times when we've emphasized it and when we've emphasized it, we've lived, up, we've lived up to it. And there's times when we have neglected it, and we always pay the price when we neglect it. It's actually been an opportunity over the last four years to kind of rekindle what it means to be a profession, and then to drive that into our, into our force, into our leader development models, into our education system. And in so doing, I think it's, I personally believe it's one of the reasons we've been able to navigate through the very challenging uh, environment we've had both ab abroad and at home.